if you've bonded my certificates in any way, shape, or form to something akin to a prison or a prison camp or a detention center or even a mental health observation center, know that A, I said no, especially for my visual testing certification, no. I don't have glasses right now and I have to deal with the fact that you intentionally obstructed me from being able to have the kind of vision I already know I have because I said no. You don't have consent. You can't blur my vision and you can't obstruct me from having clear vision, which I already know I had because I said no and then you punished me for saying no and then say that it's okay to continue using my certifications for things that I didn't consent to. No, you can't do that. A. B. You already know that you already identified me as being someone of concern when I created that website following September 11th. You didn't bond it to prison. This isn't about criminal justice. It isn't about mental health. It was terrorism. It was terrorism. I identified them as terrorists. And I've proven it. And not only did I prove it, but I proved that there was a huge conspiracy right here in Texas. So every time you refuse to acknowledge certain things and certain benchmarks about what I did and what I did legitimately, and then what you wanted to misrepresent as something else, all you do is back up and continue to finance acts of terrorism. I specifically said that one of the 10 most terrorists was on that list because they intentionally orchestrated a systematology by which to exploit people in violation of their constitutional rights in order to aid and abet the proliferation of a particular industrial sector that was a national security threat, i.e. the prison industrial complex. And over years, not only has that been proven true, but the prison industrial complex has been a co-conspirator with alleged welfare reform in order to dispossess people of the means by which to take care of themselves and acculturate and habituate them to patterns of criminality with an understanding that once they had infiltrated the government, they would be able to normalize and legitimize previously illicit and criminal activities. And in the processes of doing that, have inculcated the entire country into a situation of illegal debt, unlawful debt, in violation of the Constitution. And not only that, but in addition to being obligated to unlawful debt, which is also used to further perpetuate criminal uh, uh, activity, up to and including acts of terrorism, including so-called state actors in the government that are doing this, not only has that occurred, but in the process of that, there has also been a dispossession of the means by which we could take care of ourselves and seek civil redress without being forced to break the law. You've incentivized breaking the law because the consequences of suffering the punishment and the kind of economy that has been intentionally constructed based upon various kinds of financial opportunities availed of by these criminals that have infiltrated the government, make it more accessible for livelihood to break the law and be punished in some sort of moderate conciliatory action as opposed to actually prosecuting crime and implementing measures as deterrence. And in the process, it has aided and abetted the financing of terrorists. So you're not doing anybody a favor in any way, shape, or form. Every time you refuse to respond to somebody that went through legitimate processes, all you do is facilitate and enable the material conditions for the further proliferation of acts of domestic and international terrorism. I need you to respond. I believe we're coming up with a very important date here.